from somewhere below the surface of the Midwest. In the studio wing of the adult bands of Nerf Secret Bunker, this is the Avon Show. With your hosts, Mr. K and Mr. S. Welcome to the Adult Fans of Nerf Show. Today, we're talking about clips. That's right. Today, we're talking about clips. And in talking about clips, we got to talk about the history of clips. And the first clip was not actually in the end strike line. Uh, the first clip was uh, the power clip. And now, I don't have one of those right yet in my collection. And I don't know anything about them. But basically, it was the precursor to the mag strike. It was very similar to the mag strike. Um, I'm not sure that the clip came out, or I'm fairly sure it did. Um, but with the mag strike, you had the first iteration of Nerf's clip. Removable clip. First remove. Well, first that we know of, because we're not sure about the other one. Removable clip. Ten round, I believe. The uh, mag strike first came out as a dart tag-ish blaster, right? Yep. With the with the with the tagger darts, but it'll also work with uh, the sucker darts and sonic darts as well. Yep, absolutely. I like the mag strike. I've always, it's always been kind of a personal favorite of mine, um, just for nostalgia purposes. And I got the Iron Man one, and it's a really cool paint job. It is. It's a nice little uh, movie tie-in. It is. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a nerf with Stark. Stark International Nerf. And after the mag strike came the first clip system blaster, and that was the long shot. Long shot. This is this is one of the first clips from the long shot. Uh, it's very yellow in color. Six round clip pretty much became the standard for all clip system clips that we know and love today. Um, the design of the clips really hasn't changed over the other iterations. The main thing that they have kind of changed is the coloring up here. They made it on both sides so you know what way to load the darts in. Um, yeah, other than that, they're pretty much the same. Bread yeah. and butter, really. I do, like the, I do like the orange better than the yellow, though. I do, too. I mean, this is the one that came with the recon. Uh, again, it has only the one-sided decal on it, but it, th th this is the color that, that they all became. I'll kind of get up a little bit closer here so you guys can see. So this is the one that came with the long shot, and this is the one that came with the recon. This is the modern color. This is the old one. They both hold the same. They're exactly the same in every other way. They're just uh, old color versus new color. Yep, and, and that yellow doesn't even match the modern end strike yellow. It's a little bit more orange. Orangey yellow. Yeah. It, I don't know. I don't really care for it. I, I, I is, only have two, and I keep them because they're old. I actually just gave mine to my brother because I didn't want them in my collection. <laughs> I was just like, here. It's a tarnish. Some. It's a tarnish on my perfect orange color scheme. Uh, in the in the vein of the of the six rounder clips, we also had a couple of clear uh, clips that came out with the tactical vest. Uh, exactly the same as the other ones, just a clear plastic. Really kind of cool. I like these in the Clear Series Blasters. Yep, yep. It, it would have been nice if it would come with the Clear Series Blasters, but they didn't come out with, uh, they didn't even come out with the Ted Tack Vest until well after they were well done. Well after the, the Clear Series was Clear done, series. Yeah. yeah. So, they really couldn't do that. But uh, as for straight clips, we go directly to the 18 rounders. The monster. Um, which came with the stampede. the stampede. Now, I can never remember. It came with so many darts and so many clips. Did it come stock with the two 18 rounders? No. It came well. It came with enough clips for 60 rounds. 60 rounds. So that means three 18 round clips and one six round clip. So it was three 18 rounders. See, I haven't had the privilege myself of owning a stampede yet. It's always kind of you know flown past the radar. But he's got one. He knows what it all came with. Absolutely. Uh, mine's actually kind of borked right now due to water, water damage. damage. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm waiting for uh, new edition to come out. I'm not really, I'm not really all that cool on the, uh, 
the Sonic series Stampede. It's not really my uh, You my know, thing. Stampede's a really great blaster. It just didn't need to come in clear green. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I got the clear Maverick was to complete my set. Or the, the Sonic Maverick. Sonic Maverick, yeah. So. But um, with the 18-round clips, we got something new. Something new, brand new. This is the clip that came with the Raven. This is the first blaster to come out from the, they call it the Light Up series. Light It Up. Light It Up series. I don't know, I just want to call it the Firefly Tech series because really it's inspired by the Firefly, which if you don't know was a blaster that had a flash bulb in it and was the first to offer glow-in-the-dark darts. This does it a little bit differently. Uh, it uses AA batteries built into the clip. Turn on a little switch on the bottom here and actually lights up the top. Um, there's it'll hold 18 rounds. It's got what looks like two different kinds of UV lights in there. Uh, I'm I don't know why exactly. Probably this one's a little bit higher intensity because of the stronger plastic in the tip. But these are really cool and they do light up for quite a while. Yep. And the only thing I, the only thing that I see as a downside to it is is that there's a lot of batteries in it. There's a lot of batteries. It, it, it's what three batteries or uh, four? Four three batteries? Three or four batteries? I can't remember. But it seems like an awful lot for four little LEDs. I don't know. It works for me. And this is the Raven. We haven't shown it off yet. Uh, like I said, the first blaster to come out from the Light It Up series. The first bullpup blaster that we've seen Nerf come out with, also. It's, yeah, since well, the Firefly is is a bullpup, but it isn't a bullpup because. The, the darts are on top of the the grip the grip instead of yeah behind but similar in style to the to the firefly triggers in about the same place in rel in in relation to the barrel I've we've we've heard a lot of the gripes out out there by people not not liking the idea of the raven being a bullpup and how it works with adult hands and everything and you know I don't have the largest hands in the world but this thing is comfortable I would say it's almost more comfortable for left handed than right handed because it's got this, this bulbous part here makes it a little bit more difficult to hold with right hand. But when you're but really when you're holding it, you're pretty much gonna be holding it up against you're your shoulder. You're gonna be holding it snug up there and I yeah, for so your, your right arm's gonna gonna be almost hugging be out. It. Yeah. So you're not really even gonna tell that that, that bulb is there. Now my problem with the bulb pup isn't anything stock. It's when you decide that you wanna try something new with the with the Raven. And as, as, as a lefty, putting the 35 round drum in there, this, this doesn't work. Because I can't comfortably hold this at all. No. But with straight clips, it works great. Yeah, yeah. And since it came with the straight clip, you know, I'm really. Yeah, but you know, you gotta try, you gotta, you gotta try it, change it up, try and customize. I really like the, the Raven. I can't, I can't wait to see more stuff like that come down the pipe. Yep. Uh, Firefly Tech is something that we're definitely looking forward to. It adds a little bit of playability to the blasters and allows you to, to play in almost the dark. I wouldn't play in the absolute dark because it's dangerous. You, you can, can trip over things. Yeah. Yeah. Not the greatest idea in the world, but... No, but, you know, it's fun. As long as you're not playing in complete darkness, you're fine. <laughs> Speaking of the 35 round clip, might as well bring that out next. Uh, this guy came with the Raider. It was the first high capacity clip that we've seen, uh, very Tommy Gun style. I fell head over heels in love with this thing when it first came out. Even though, to be honest with you, even on the even on the Raider, it does look a little weird. Um, and probably a little bit more of a right-handed person thing than a left-handed person thing. But it, the whole thing feels kind of well. Gear up, Raider. It just feels like you're 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 falling over to the left with it, you know. Whereas if you're right-handed, this is kind of supporting the weight here. It's not doing so much of it with the left hand. But you know, that's something that I have to work through because I have the problem. I'm left-handed. So yeah, that's um, the only thing with the Gear Up series is they changed it up. This is the only other 35-round drum that you can get. This different and the only thing that's different is it has an orange front and a uh, black in the middle there with and the stripe two little stripes here which is which is pretty cool it's nice to have something a little different I like the way it looks unfortunately mine um, mine doesn't work very well 
the darts don't like to advance very well. It jams, the, the clip itself jams frequently. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's just a problem that I've had with my gear up 35 Rider. Yeah. yeah. Not everything, everything, all the Nerf stuff can be perfect. Not yeah. all blasters are they do put out quite a. They do put out quite a few blasters, so it's... Yep. Then uh, in the same category as the 35 rounder, we have the 18 round version of the barrel clip. A little bit smaller. This guy came with the Alpha Trooper. Yep. And um, really nice. I'm not, I'm still trying to understand why they did an 18 round straight clip and an 18 round drum clip. Um, but I don't really care, really, because straight or barrel, it's, it's good to have high capacity clips. Absolutely. And here's the uh, Target exclusive. Uh, drum mag that uh, is base. It's the same one that came in the Alpha Trooper. There's there's no difference whatsoever. It's just that it's packaged by itself, so it's you don't the have to. First high capacity clip to be packaged by itself. Absolutely, it allows you. It allows you to get a high capacity clip without having to purchase a larger blast. That was one of my biggest arguments with the Raider. You only got one drum clip with the Raider. We like to have extra ammo. We like to tote around extra clips and everything, and you can't do that unless you buy a second Raider. I don't really want to have a second Raider. I just want a second drum clip. You, but, it, yeah. Yeah, it's always nice to have extra clips, and especially extra clips that come with the blaster. You know, um, there was one specific store uh, special set that did come with two drum clips, but you're lucky if you can find that. I have seen it in a couple of Toys R Us's lately, so they must have gotten some some more some back stock in or something. Yeah, so you can still you can still find one out there with two drum clips. You just have to look for it. Yeah. All right. So next we got something that's not really a clip, wouldn't classically be considered a clip, but we haven't talked about it yet. Uh, and that's the the 25 round belt for the Vulcan. Yep, it's, it's not a clip, but it holds ammo, so we're going to count it. Right. And really, this thing was really, I mean, just just spot on awesome. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's something original that Nerf came out with after they came out with the clip system. You know, it's, I don't know, there's, there's not really much to say it's, about it. The Vulcan's a beast. The Vulcan's a beast, and the belt clip is awesome. They came out with a second, iter this is one of the original belts. Uh, you can buy them separately now, actually, but it has a green uh, one of these tips um, for some reason. I think it's to so that you know when the end is. Yeah, but when it's done, it falls to the floor, so I don't really see the point. I don't know. Anyway, there's a green tip on it. 25 rounds, it'll work with Sonic, Tagger, and um, Sucker darts. Yep. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't work with taggers and suckers nearly as well as the Sonic. Nearly as well as the Sonic. But uh, in some way, Nerf seems to design blasters to use only certain ammo, even if other ammo fits in there easily. Don't know how they do it, but for some reason, that's just the way it goes. Yep. Um, and if you if you look at the old artwork for the Vulcan. Um, I think the belt was originally supposed to be orange for some reason, uh, but they just never came out with it as orange. I, I know, too personally, I kind of want to see if there it actually even exists because I want one. Of course, you do, Mister Orange. <laughs> we'll start calling you that uh, on our Facebook page. Yeah. Mister Orange says. I won't confuse any people any more than Mister K and Mister S. Hey, you know the monikers work. Yeah. <clears throat> so now we come to. The latest iteration of clips, um, the Vortex line came out last year. It was a really big event. The micro frisbees, we can't say enough cool stuff about them. They came out with two different clips for um, for the Vortex series: the 10 round and the 20 round. It's almost no difference to them besides the number of discs that they shoot or hold. Actually, I did notice something different earlier too. You did before the show. Um, if you look at all of the 10 round clips and all the 20 round clips, the 20 round clips have a different sheen on the bottom. This is kind of like a, a duller plastic. I don't oh, know it is, what, yeah. I don't know what the deal with that is, but uh, also there's no printing on the side here where it says 
what it it's is. It's not. It, the, it's, it's the printing's on there. It's 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 embossed. It's just not. It's not drawn out in black like it yeah, is on the twenty painted. rounder, which is strange. Minimal but, differences. Yeah. Okay, they do exist. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, they're good. And you can addition um, to the clip system. Thank you, Nerf, for for being smart and finally starting to do this, like you did with the eighteen round clip. Uh, you can purchase the 10 round vortex clip with extra ammo separately. Uh, great idea, because, you know, the more ammo you have, the more rounds you can fire. It's, it's logic. Yeah. I just wish they came out with a 20 rounder. That you can buy separately? Yeah. Yeah. Because the, I mean, the, the Nitron only comes with one. Yeah, and the Nitron has a spot for two, and it's the only blaster that actually had, or the only vortex clip system blaster that has a spot for two. The the Praxis okay. doesn't Praxis have only a spot has one. For two. Nothing on the nothing on the buttstock to try and store anything in here. But now in the Vortex line, the second blaster to come up from the Light It Up series hasn't come out yet, but we should talk about it because it has another new kind of clip. That's the Lumatron. It's basically a functional reprint of the Praxis. Um, Sand stock. Sand stock. There is no shoulder stock with it. Uh, and it has a 10 round clip that's about as long as a 20 rounder. That extra spot is where the batteries go for the light up mechanism. Uh, I haven't really seen the Lumatron in action yet, but I'm excited if it's anywhere near as cool as the Raven. We got hits. We got hits coming all over the place. Absolutely. And it, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on it. But I think the discs actually glow blue instead of green. It really looks like, the, from the videos that we've seen online, it really does look like it's blue instead of green. Mm -hmm. And that's cool, too. Yeah, it is cool. Um, the, disc seems, the discs are, have a white foam around the edge, and they have uh, kind of a clearish uh, plastic center. in the middle. Yeah. Yep. And it's that, it's that center part that actually glows, not the I'm disc around. I'm not exactly sure. I heard from Urban Taggers that it has some kind of coating on top that glows. Okay. So it might not glow all might, the way might through. Might be the whole thing. Yep. We really have to get, get our hands on one in order to determine that. We haven't yet found a way to get our hands on one. The preliminaries look good, though. looks promising. Like I said, if it's anything like like the Raven, I'm going to be excited. Yep. Um, the way that the clip actually differs from the Raven, um, as it appears in the pictures that we've seen, is that it has a clear um, center part. Um, where the where the darts push down on where the darts push down on here there's a spring and darts push down in the center part um, that appears to be clear and it looks almost like the light comes up from the bottom I'm not sure about that hmm. but that's what it looks like and it doesn't make much sense to me well the darts on top would get less charged than the dart or the the discs on bottom so you'd you'd have non uniform luminosity yeah yeah. But we'll really have to get our hands on it to be sure. Yeah, this is all speculation at this point. But uh, it does look cool, even though it doesn't come with the stock. You know, uh, a lot of people tend not not use it with the stock because it does look uh, quite a bit like a shotgun. Praxis is cool either way with or without the stock. I I have no preference with it. Yep, and it's a new clip. You know, I mean, it's compatible with all the other Vortex blasters, so you can really use it as you see fit. Yeah. Um. um Talking about uh, Vortex, we can't forget the Vigilon. The Vigilon. The Vigilon is unique. Uh, it's the first smaller blaster, um, other than the, the Dart Tag stuff, which we'll talk about later, that has an integrated clip. And uh, as I spoke of in my review of the Vigilon, uh, that that mechanism is actually inspired by a Pez dispenser. Kind of a nifty, cool little uh, factoid there. Yep, we heard that uh, directly from one of the designers that worked on the Vortex series. Um, he looked at a Pez dispenser, saw some inspiration there, and he put it in one of the blasters, and it works very well. It's really cool. I like the Vigilon is probably my second favorite blaster in the Vortex line next to the Nitron. Yeah, I mean, you can't exactly do uh, the same style as a Maverick if you want to create a Maverick-sized blaster for discs. Yep, you got to think outside the box, and they really hit it out of the park with this one. It holds uh, six rounds stock, that's what they tell you that it'll fit, but we've actually been able to fit as much as eight in there with the round primed and chambered in the tube. 
Yep, if you, if you cock it and then open up the chamber uh, or the, the clip, you can actually push this down. It'll click and lock it down into place and that'll give you extra space for up to two more discs. Yep, right now this one has, I have five in here. Uh, I just didn't have more discs to put in it, but uh, you can fit up to eight. Yeah. It's or well, seven. Because you because you can click it down and fit one more without priming it. Yeah, you prime it and you put one more in there. I thought it was eight. Seven or eight. Okay. Well, let, let's let's check it out. Okay. So we've got five in there five right now. Five in there. Cock it. Okay. Now we got four in there. So we turn it upside down. Seven. Seven. Okay. I was mistaken. It is seven. So you can fit seven discs in here neither, with neither. one in the chamber primed. All right. So that's settled. You win again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Another nifty cool thing, I, I'm i a big fan of summer play, I like being outdoors, running around, and what better way to do that is with water guns. And um, the new Super Soaker line that Nerf's been doing for a while now has been fantastic. They keep raising the bar on it. Last year they came out with water clips for, for their new Super Soakers. Um, unfortunately I forgot to bring one of just the, the, the stock ones. Um, but we have the brand new one, the drum clip for the lightning storm. Yep. Well, the lightning storm is just a, it's, it's itself is just a repaint. It's a repaint of the thunderstorm once you take all of the bits and bobs off of it. Yep. Which is just fine by me. I mean, it's a reverse paint scheme to it. Uh, everywhere there's dark blue on it. It was white on the, on the, the thunderstorm. Um, it's the, it's the additives that really make it so cool. Not only do you have the drum clip, but it comes with a new blast shield that works on other Super Soaker blasters like the Tornado Strike, uh, and other I've tried on the Tornado Strike, looks really cool, and this brand new rifle looking buttstock, um, which is just, I mean, it's cool. It'll, it'll work on pretty much any of the other uh, compatible uh, blasters, except for some of the end strike ones that have the long protruding uh, back spring portion. It won't really fit on those, but all the ones that have the smaller nubs, it'll work fine. I tried using it on my um, Raider, and it, and it wouldn't go past the, uh, the, the part on the end. Huh. I would have thought with the little chamber in there, it would have fit. I thought two. Maybe it was the Alpha Trooper. It was one of those that I, that I tried on, and it didn't we'll quite work. Grab the... We'll grab the Raider and try it out. Around there. Maybe it does work on the Raider. There was one of them that I, I was playing I know, around with it the other day. And I know the uh, Recalled Recon won't work. It, I, and I didn't have my Recalled Recon out. Uh, it was one of the other ones. I can't remember. That or it was just a fluke. I don't know. But yeah, it's a really nice stock and it seems to be in the band now because of the way it looks. Even though, you know, it's white. But, um, yeah, it's... It's a pretty, it's a sturdy stock, and it's it's got a good length to it. I was a fan of it. I actually stripped the lightning storm down uh, and put all of the accessories, including the drum clip, on the tornado strike, um, which is a bigger blaster on its own. But you add all of that stuff to it, and it turns it into just this monster water gun. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's it's really definitely a, a move forward in water gun clip technology. And to add, with the with the addition of that, the lightning storm and the thunderstorm are also, were the, are the lightning, or the, th the thunderstorm, anyway, battery powered. So you don't have to switch your train, pump it or whatever, just pull the, pull the trigger and constant stream of water till your clip's empty. Um, the straight clips have um, uh, belt snap things built into them so you can have them around your, your bathing suit or whatever, and you have ammo all day long. Yeah, and of course, like all other clips, they're cross compatible, yeah. which is really nice. You know? Now that doesn't mean that you can try and use your squirt gun clips in your end strike stuff. That won't work. 
<laughs> as far as inter-series no, play, I, yeah. they were they all worked together. Yeah, but the nice thing about the the Super Soaker series is it, that uh, they all the other things except for the clips work with. With, work with the end strike, end strike stuff because they always they all use the same tactical rails. All of the the connectors and everything are all the same, um, and I really like this over the one that came with the the hydro blast, the big angular shield thing. Um, I think it's just more utilitarian. What are you messing with? Trying to break it? No, I'm just investigating. He's, he's trying to break my new toy. No, it's just it it has two. <laughs> lock points in there. Maybe they're in different positions depending on on end strike or a super soaker. I don't know. Most most blasters have them in the exact same position, so I'm not sure. See and that's all the farther it can go on this one. I don't He hasn't had a shot to play with it before the show, so now he's playing with it today. He's playing with it now. That's interesting. But yeah, it's it's definitely something to to look for and, and play with this summer. Higher capacity. Yeah. Um, and since we're talking about clips and things that hold darts, we can't forget the new dart tag stuff. These, this is kind of they're they're two things in one. It's a it's a it's a they're a blaster and a clip because the clip's built in. Yep. Um, well, they do have the drawbacks, you know, it, it does tend to jam a little bit more and stuff, but these, these are first iterations in what could be a it's long line of internal clips. Ingenious, really. Ingenious, really. 16 rounds on this one. I like the whole banana curve on it. Um, I mean, it's not an 18 rounder, but for 16, I mean, it's dark tag. This is, this is higher capacity and easy, really easy to reload really slick. You just push them down in there. You can go almost as fast as you want. Uh, jamming usually occurs if you try and try and cock it, like not all the way, and then you try and fix what you didn't quite do. Your dart will get stuck in there, and let me tell you what, they do not come out easy if they're jammed. Nope. Um, you're basically going to have to consult in your instructions um, in order to try and clear the jam as best you can. Um, but we did run an article early on that uh, dealt with jams and try how to prevent jams on these blasters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're great blasters overall. Even you know not being dark, you, you know even if you don't consider them to be from the dark tag standpoint, they're they're great blasters. Um, I was really excited about this series, and so far it really hasn't disappointed too much. Besides, you know, if you look past all the jamming stuff, the color scheme's cool, the designs are cool, they keep coming out with just new stuff that's, that, I mean, stellar. I never thought that they would try and integrate a clip into the blaster. I was a little leery about it, to tell you the truth, but seeing it and playing with it, even at its first iteration, it's cool. It's just solid. Yep, and you know the, the internal clips have an added benefit that regular clips don't have. You can't reload a normal clip while it's still in the blaster. Right. With these clips, anytime you're between a shot, you can pop in a new dart. Yep, running around in the arena, you can pick up a handful, put them in there quick, and you're still firing, not missing a beat. You don't got to worry about trying to rip it off your bandolier, half cock your blaster, pull the clip out, slap it back in there, and then you can get back to doing it. Uh, like I said, it's fast reloads. Keeps you in the game fat more. Less time reloading. Yeah. Clips have been around for a while. We've seen a lot of old things, new things come down the pipeway. Innovations left and right. Um, clips are here to stay. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, in talking about clips, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. Where is the double drum? <laughs> I've kind of conceded to this fact. If it comes out, it'll be cool. I'm not holding my breath in anticipation for it, though. Um, recently, there was kind of a slip up. We're not sure. There was it. Was it at Target? Target. There were some graphical displays that showed the stampede. Was it? Yep. With, with the double drum clip in it. It might have just been an old image, uh, an old pro pro promotional image, but it might have been an inkling. 
as to something coming down the way maybe later this year. We don't know. I think that the double drum clip is inevitable. One way or another, they'll figure out a way to bring it out. And when they do, it'll be awesome. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start any kind of a flame war or or start bashing the company for not bringing out something no, that's obvi obviously they didn't bring it out because it wasn't ready. There was some reason, one way or another, where they couldn't bring it out because it didn't work right or it was too costly at the time. You know, that some happens, reason. and that's that's for the better. Right. It, it it ensures that we get a good product. Not all the time, it's for the better, though. Let's not forget Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll have that problem. <laughs> Hopefully not. Anyway, yes, we hope that that the 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 double drum clip does come out. Um, when it does, we'll let you know. Um, Absolutely. Another thing I think might be coming around the corner. What's that? A Firefly Tech drum. Firefly Tech drum. They did it with the eighteen round clip. They did it with a Vortex clip. The drum clip is a place that they can go next fairly easily. I'd like to see it. A high capacity Firefly Tech gun? Ooh. I think it could work. I Either that or some kind of Firefly Tech Vulcan. That would be interesting to see how they could work the light up into, if they would work it into the into the draw, into the I think, belt, I think what they it could would do be in the blaster. Is they could make a clear clear belt and make put the light inside the, the blaster. So it's, or inside the, the uh, the container on the side. Inside the, uh, the... I don't know what to call it. Thing! What do you call that thing? It's just a thing where I you think put it's a, the... a magazine, technically, isn't it? God, maybe. I don't know. I don't the know. the thing that, that, that the uh, belt sits in before you fire. But, they, yeah, they could put a light in there, or a couple of lights, and it could it could charge all the darts at once, and, you know... As long as they can keep the stealth aspect of it. I've been playing around with the with the with the Raven for a while now, and one thing that the Raven definitely has over the Firefly is when you shoot a dart, you don't blind yourself if you're playing in the dark, and you don't give away your position, because uh, the Firefly was just a flash bulb that went off and charged the whole cylinder at once. This year, shooting off, uh, you know, a singly charged dart one at a time without a big here I am, here I am. Yeah. That is true. I mean, it's a little more noisy than the Firefly, though. Because it's flywheel powered, and yeah. it's awesome. But it, but it seems to be quieter than the Barricade. Yeah, it's quieter than the Barricade, and it has that uh, that that secondary trigger on the on the front of the foregrip, like on the Nitron, so that you're only using the flywheels when you want to fire. Absolutely. It's, it's a nice way to have a little bit more stealth, so you don't have to keep t constantly toggling on and off your Barricade. Exactly. You're always ready. You're always ready. So that's about all we have for this episode. Um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks with the next episode, and uh, stay tuned to our website, adultfansofnerf.com or afon.us, for new reviews on the Raven, the, um, what was the other one, the Lightning Storm, and the Speed Swarm, which we previewed in last time's episode. Yep. Have a great one.